assalamu alaikum dear students in today's class we will study food chain and food web in detail now what is food chain as you have studied earlier it shows the energy levels from one animal to another animal one organism to another organism it is a model that shows a sweet sequence of feeding relationships links species by their feeding relationships by arrows we have already seen this follows the connection between one producer and a single chain of consumers within an ecosystem shows how each living thing gets food and from where each living thing living thing is nothing but organisms it shows from where each organism gets its food use pictures or words and arrows to show the movement of energy through the tropic levels of organisms the energy flow from one tropic level to other another tropic level now words to know important words to know before studying studying food chain and food web first word producer or autotrophs producers as discussed in the last session are nothing but that prepare their own food producers are always plants rather plants are always the producers because plants prepare their own food so producers are a group of organisms that can use the energy in sunlight to convert water and carbon dioxide carbon dioxide into glucose that is nothing but food for the plant producers produce all of the food that heterotrophs use we will see what are heterotrophs without autotrophs that is producer remember autotrophs are nothing but producers that is plants so without autotrophs that is plants there would be no life on this earth example plants and algae so the first word is producer now the second word heterotroph or consumer heterotroph or consumer consumers are nothing but that depends on other organisms for their food consumers are the organisms that depends on other organisms for their food organisms that do not make their own food are called as consumers because they consume other organisms in order to li- live now there are three levels of consumers that we will study l- later consumers are nothing but heterotrophs or we can say heterotrophs are nothing but consumers consumers are organisms that depend on other organisms or for their food unlike producers so in this slide there are two words producers consumers third word types of consumers let's come to types of consumers first one herbivores and organisms that only eats plant are called as herbivores you can see in the pictures given below sheep giraffe zebra these are all organisms that only eat plants so they are called as herbivore organisms or herbivore animals second carnivores and organisms that only eats meat you can see in the image below lion tiger cheetah jaguar these are all organisms that only eats meat so they are called as carnivore third omnivore omnivore are 
organisms that eats meat as well as plants example a pig a cat a dog all these are omnivores so we learned the th three words in this slide herbivore carnivore and omnivore in previous slide we had we learned two words producers and consumers so total five words next word decomposers now what are decomposers can you see this beautiful red color plant like structure in the structure this is nothing but decomposer now what does decomposers do or what are decomposers decomposers are microorganisms they are microorganisms that break down dead plants and animal cells they reduces dead organisms to simpler forms of matter like nutrients bacteria and fungi are two examples of decomposers now in this fungi or fungus is not a is not a microorganism it's a mi microorganism we can see with our naked eye as you can see in the picture below whereas bacteria bacteria cannot be seen with our naked eye we need microscope to see bacteria all right fungi can be seen with our naked eye whereas bacteria cannot be seen with our naked eye so in this slide we learned the word decomposers decomposers break down the dead matter into simpler forms that it, that is nutrients and this nutrient is used by the plants for its healthy growth so we learned total 6 words now we will see examples of food chain you all have already studied food chain we will see more examples of food chain in this session first example grass grasshopper and frog grass is eaten by grasshopper and grasshopper is eaten by frog and this feeding relationship is represented by a red color arrow and by a red color arrow as you all can see in the image below grass grass is producer grasshopper is primary consumer and frog is secondary consumer now the second example there is grass there is grasshopper there is mice snake and eagle can you all guess which organism is eating grass use uh, use the red arrow to identify which organism is eating what so red arrow which is which is coming out from the grass is pointing towards the grasshopper that means grasshopper is eating grass now red arrow which is coming out from grasshopper is pointing towards mice that means that means mice is eating grasshopper red arrow which is coming out from mice is pointing towards the snake any guesses yes this means that snake is eating mice and red arrow which is coming out from snake and pointing towards eagle this means that eagle is eating snake so over here in this food chain grass is the producer grasshopper grasshopper is the 
primary consumer mice is the secondary consumer snake is the tertiary consumer and any guesses for eagle what are eagles eagles are nothing but apex predator eagles are apex predator you if you all can recall what are apex predator as discussed in the last session these are the predators these are the organisms that are not eaten by other organisms they are at, they are always at the top of the food chain next question in the food web given below which is a primary consumer primary consumer means an or, uh, organism which consumes plant options are lizard grass grasshopper and snake see the food web carefully which organism is consuming grass or producer yes the answer is grasshopper grasshopper is primary consumer in this food web the answer can also be a rabbit and mouse but these these organisms are not given in the option next question which organism from the food web are consuming the insect are consuming the insect see which arrows which arrows how many which arrows are coming out from insect how many arrows are coming out from are coming from insect not towards insect from insect the first arrow that is coming out from insect is going towards shrew so the first organism is shrew and the second arrow which is coming out from insect is going towards red fox see the food web carefully the first arrow is coming going towards shrew and the second arrow is going towards red fox red fox so the answer is option b shrew and red fox last question use the diagram to answer the question the mayfly is a food source for which three organisms for to answer this question you will have to see the food web carefully mayfly first look at where is mayfly to the extreme end of the at the bottom of the food web in the corner so the question is the mayfly is a food source for which three organisms see which three arrows are coming out from mayfly and going to which organism the first one the first or arrow which is coming out from mayfly is going towards trot the second arrow is going towards salamander and the third arrow is going towards frog so mayfly is a food source for trot salamander and frog the answer is option c frog salamander and trot with this question we end today's session thank you now we will see what is a food web food web is a link or a network of more than one food chain when more than one food chain comes together it becomes a food web like a spider's web most organisms eat more than just one organism 
yes like we we eat so many different types of food we eat vegetables we eat we eat egg we drink milk we eat nuts we eat pulses in the same way even the animals eat different different types of food or they depend on different types of animals for their food so when organisms eat more than just one type of organisms it becomes a food web when more organisms are involved it is known as a food web food webs describe the organisms found in interconnecting food chains using pictures or wo- pictures or words and arrows just like food chain in other words food webs are a bunch of food chains all together they describe the complex patterns of energy flow in an ecosystem by modeling who consumes whom or what now we will see examples of food web can you see the picture below yes it's looking little complex but it is not there are four levels of this this is nothing but a image of picture of food web and there are four levels producers primary consumer secondary consumer and tertiary consumer now this is a network of many food chain that has come together let's study or let's learn how to read a food chain the producers the bottom most level is always the producer it is always the producer as you all can see in the picture below plants flowers nuts seeds fruits and small micro insects now let's come to primary consumers that is pika red red-breasted pacific tree frog checker spot douglas squirrel mule deer now let's take example of one let's take pacific tree frog now a arrow is been an arrow is coming out from first level that is producer which is going towards frog yes you have to see the arrow from where it is coming and to which organism it is going this is very important while studying a food web pay attention at the arrows from which organism it is coming and to which organism it is pointing at so let's take the example of pacific tree frog now look at all the arrows carefully that is coming out from pacific tree frog let's see let's see what to which all organisms it is pointing at first one the first arrow it is pointing at ring tail first arrow that is coming out from pacific tree frog is pointing at ring tail this means that ring tail eats or consumes pacific tree frog second arrow which is coming out from pacific tree frog is pointing at western web tail that this means western web tail it's it is a type of lizard consumes or eats pacific tree frog the third arrow which is pointing towards raven this means that or this is showing that raven consumes or eats pacific tree frog fourth arrow fourth arrow that is coming out from pacific tree frog is pointing towards black tipped jack rabbit now black tipped jack rabbit also consumes pacific tree frog the last arrow the fifth arrow which is coming out from pacific tree frog is pointing towards p- 
Pine Martin. This means that Pine Martin consumes also consumes Pacific tree frog. So there are total five organisms that are consuming Pacific tree frog. This is nothing but a food web. When one organism eat more than one more more than one or more two or more organisms, it becomes a food web. Now, ring tail. See, ring tail is come on the secondary consumer. First organism, ring tail. We will see which all arrows, how many arrows are coming out from ring tail. The first one, the first arrow that is coming out from ring tail is pointing towards coyote. That means coyote is consuming ring tail. Second arrow which is coming out from ring tail is pointing towards mountain lion. That means mountain lion is cons consumes or eats ring tail. Third arrow which is coming out from ring tail is, is pointing towards bobcat. This means that bobcat consumes ring tail. So now you all understood how to read a food web. It will require little practice but you all will gradually learn. So I want you all to keep this image open and practice reading food web. Quiz time. Yes, are you all ready? I want you all to read with me. First one. A dash makes it own makes its own energy and begins the food chain. The options are consumers, producers, herbivore and decomposers. The correct answer is producer. A producer makes its own f energy and begins the food chain. Producers are nothing but plants. Second question. A diagram that shows the transfer of energy in one line is a food in one line. Remember, the question is saying in one line is a food web, food chain, food line or food coat. Yes, can you all guess the correct answer? It is a food chain. Why a food chain? Because question because it asks us transfer of energy in one line. Yes, so answer is food chain. Now the next question. A dash cannot make its own energy and eats on only plants for their energy. Producers? No, producers are plants itself. Primary consumers, secondary consumer, tertiary consumer. What is the correct answer? The question is saying eats only plants. Yes, the correct answer is primary consumer. Primary consumer are herbivore animals that eats only plants. Why not secondary and tertiary consumer? Because secondary and tertiary con consumers eat other animals. They are carnivores. Next question. A type of consumer that eats primary consumer is called a herbivore, prey, tertiary consumer, secondary consumer. Herbivore, no. Prey, no. Tertiary consumer, mm, any guesses? The answer is secondary consumer. Why secondary? 
secondary consumer because secondary consumer eats primary primary consumers are eaten by secondary consumers next question a type of consumer that eats only meat is called a herbivore carnivore omnivore brucivore the answer is carnivore the answer is carnivore next question question number 6 a type of consumer that eats both meat and plants is called a herbivore no herbivore eats only plant carnivore no carnivore eats only meat flesh omnivore yes the answer is omnivore omnivore eats both meat and plants next question in the food web given below which is a primary consumer primary consumer means an or, uh, organism which consumes plant options are lizard grass grasshopper and snake see the food web carefully which organism is consuming grass or producer yes the answer is grasshopper grasshopper is primary consumer in this food web the answer can also be a rabbit and mouse but these these organisms are not given in the option next question which organism from the food web are consuming the insect are consuming the insect see which arrows which arrows how many which arrows are coming out from insect how many arrows are coming out from are coming from insect not towards insect from insect the first arrow that is coming out from insect is going towards shrew so the first organism is shrew and the second arrow which is coming out from insect is going towards red fox see the food web carefully the first arrow is coming going towards shrew and the second arrow is going towards red fox red fox so the answer is option b shrew and red fox